Hey everyone, I'm Nick and welcome to the channel. If you've watched the channel before, you'll probably recognize this truck, which is my supercharged Range Rover that I bought for $850. Recently, I replaced the broken touchscreen and also added an Android Auto and Apple CarPlay interface to bring the radio into this decade. That went great, but last time we did mechanical work on this truck, we weren't so successful. I tried to align the truck, but it turned out my retro Windows 95 alignment system wasn't working right. This time we're trying again, and we're going analog. So I'll be using a quick trick fifth gen alignment system. So let's get to it. All right, so we're back at the back of the truck. I jacked it up so I can get the wheel off, loosened our camber bolt, and we'll be able to adjust the camber on this. My truck, this is 21, and this side is an 18. Let's get the wheel back on, the truck back on the ground, then we'll set up our alignment tools. All right, so with the wheel back on, we're gonna tighten these up a bit. There we go, now we can lower it back down. There we go. Now, before I do anything else, I wanna make sure the truck's at ride height, so I'm probably gonna have to start it, let it re-level itself. I may actually have to move the truck back and forth to make sure this is settled properly. We're set at ride height, so let's go get our alignment tools. All right, so this is part of the Quick Trick alignment system. So I'm gonna set this up to test camber, or to measure camber. So we have these big openings on this side, small openings on this side, which are gonna be these. This slot here goes towards the top, so it'll be to adjust the height. So we're gonna take this nut off. I can just thread this on here, I think. Yeah. Okay. go and then this one we're gonna take the nut off also and thread it into here I think so you don't want to lose these so parts don't fall off and this should thread in here listen this right in there tighten that up and because I didn't quite frame the shot right Here's what it looks like on the other side. Okay, now to make sure this doesn't just fly off, I'm gonna put a little bungee cord that comes with it around here. And that should put a little tension on it so we can adjust it without too much trouble. Now we have our level here. Pop that on the floor in front of the wheel. I'm gonna zero it. Now we will start with this here. We want to swivel this. That's level, good. And then hold it on here. That's 90. We gotta do this. We got zero and zero here. Now we can mount this, pop this out of the bracket. And what we want to do here is thread it in so that the camber is good, or so that this is perpendicular to the. So that is 0.9 degrees down, full down arrow here, which I think that's negative camber. And our spec is supposed to be minus one, plus or minus three quarters. So we are actually in spec right now. So that's good. Um, that means that we could t lift it, tighten it back up, and we should be good to go. Okay, let me see if I can adjust it at all to, to be at one degree. We'll see what we can do. If I can even reach in. I just wanna make sure I don't bump anything. Maybe from the top. Yeah. Okay, I can reach it here. Turns out you need a lot of, a fair amount of strength to move that. Okay. 
Okay, I'm reading one now. I've readjusted. That seems okay. That means it's in spec. Now, the challenge is going to be to retighten that without anything moving. So, I'm going to pull this off, check up this corner of the car, pull the wheel off, and then tighten those up to spec. Let's move this off. Take this off. Loosen that. Slide these out. I'm going to put this away out of the way. Okay. If I can, I'm going to mark that. So I'm going to tighten it to spec. What I'm going to do here is mark. So I have marked it right here. So what I'm going to try to do is tighten it without moving that. And we'll be good to go. Let's see. Okay. Let's get the torque for that. So we're going to 165 Newton meters here. So I want to make sure this is in place and then I'm bracing this so it doesn't move. All right, that is good. That should be all set, which is great. So we'll do the other side. So we're gonna do camber on this side and the other side, and then we'll worry about toe front and rear because the toe ends up being adjusted at the same time per side. And now just like earlier, we'll settle the suspension again. Now we're gonna do essentially the same thing on this side. I haven't loosened anything because there's a chance that it'll be all right, but if it's not, we'll get, we'll jack it up and test it. So now that we measured the camber, we know we could adjust it a little better since we're at negative 0.8 degrees and we wanna be around negative one. We're in spec, but we're trying to make it a little better. So I'm gonna pop that off, jack it up, loosen the camera bolt, bring it back down, roll it back and forth, and then we'll reach in and adjust with the tool back on, and then we'll jack it up again, tighten it back to spec, and we'll be done. Well, we'll be done with the camera at least. You'll notice how much the wheel moves when I start adjusting the camber. Once the camber was set, I torqued the bolt to 165 Newton meters. And before lowering it back down, I also loosened the toe arm adjuster bolt. I also did that on the other side earlier, so we're ready for our next step, which is the toe adjustment. All right, so we're gonna roll the truck back and forth to settle the suspension. And I'm gonna put my custom turn plates, which are linoleum, a layer of bearing grease, and another tile of linoleum. And here I've got foam also for that. And I got another pair of those on the other side. And that'll allow the wheels to turn a little more easily when we're making the toe adjustments. Next, I'm setting up the steering wheel holder so the wheel stays straight when I adjust the front toe. I'm also using a towel under the holder to protect the leather seat. While you're straightening the wheel, you should keep the truck running so the power steering is active. All right. Our trusty alignment tool. Here we want to make sure that the this bar here has slots in it. We want that to be towards the rear or towards the front in the front of the car. So since we're mounting this on the rear wheel, we want that to be facing back. So I'm going to mount these. Get these have to make a right angle with this. So let me get a square. Let me figure out what the best way to square this up is. If you don't have a square, I have seen some people use a table to make a right angle for these arms. Take 
like this, put it in front of the wheel, calibrate it. Use that to lock it in. All right, now we do the same thing up front. Now this is going on the front driver's side, so we want these slots to be towards the front. Okay, that's good. And we do the same thing on the other side. So right here we have a bunch of a few slots. We can pick one. I'm gonna undo this line. And I'm gonna pick, I guess the three, since it's in the middle. That should wedge it in here. I'm gonna run that to the rear one. And you want that to uh, sit over the other bar right there. And then here we wanna go into the three as well. Loop that around to hold it in place. There's extra here. Just hang that on here. And now, probably want a little more tension here. And then we'll look at the uh, position here and we'll use that to measure the rear toe and up front to measure the front toe. We'll do the same thing on the other side. All right. With the alignment set up in place, we can loosen the tie rods to adjust the front wheels. You could also do this before mounting the alignment jigs. That's 16 here. And this is something like 23 or 24. The adjustable wrench. We want to take off the clamp here so that we don't twist the boot. Now I'll do the same thing on the other side. As you can tell, these tie rods are a little tired, so I'll probably replace them in the future. Let's see with that. Essentially, you're gonna turn this to shorten or lengthen this. If you shorten it, bring the toe in, lengthen it, go out. The same thing on the other side. All right, so here's how we're gonna do it. You see, we're leaving from the three inch mark. Now, if it was completely square, this on the rear would be straight on the three inch mark. And up front, it would be, if it were square, it'd be on the three inch mark as well. So on the front, we want a little bit of negative toe, which is gonna be toe out. And per our specs that we got, so we wanna find 0 0.08 inches and get that line over 0 0.08. And on the rear, we want a little bit of toe in. We want 0.2 degrees or 0.1 inches, so. For toe in, the string should be on this side of the three inch mark in our case. Right now, the wheel has a little bit of toe out. So I'm gonna adjust that. In there, you gotta reach probably from the back, reach in, adjust a bit, come out and check, and do that a couple times until this, well, I'm gonna start by getting it square, and then we can do another adjustment. There we go, we'll do the same on both sides. And here's what it looks like when you're adjusting the toe on the rear. And it's very similar when you're working on the front. So you see right here, we're at like about 0.1 inch toe in, which is what we want. That's good. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in there. But right there, that's our toe bolt. And Obviously it's gonna look different for your car, depending on how it's set up. If the thin part faces towards the outside of the truck, it means the front edge of the wheel will be pushed towards the outside of the truck. If the thick part points towards the outside, it will pull the wheel in, the front edge of the wheel in. So you can adjust that until you get the number you need to see. Now 
I'm actually gonna mark this in paint pen so that we have a reference because when we go to tighten it, we wanna make sure that doesn't move. So we go get a paint pen and we'll do that. So right there, made a couple marks. And uh, the reason I'm making a lot of marks to really see it is because this side is unfortunately the most accessible, but if you tighten it from this side, it will change the toe. So, but I do have a solution for that that should work to tighten from the nut side, which is pretty blocked off on the other side. So we'll get to that in a little bit. All right, so we have our rear wheel towed in about point 0.1, it's in the range. Our front here towed out it's in the range as well it's like almost square actually straight on is in range and same thing on the other side it's to a little negative toe toe out this that three mark is in which means the rear of the tire the rear of the wheel is in and that is good i've tightened the tie rod so now the next step is to get the truck off the turn plates and back in the air so i can tighten the rear toe bolts while I'm putting these away, I do want to mention that you can also measure the caster angle on the front wheels with this system too. All right, tightening this down. Okay, so right here we want to undo the nut that holds the link in place here. So you got a 10 millimeter on this side and a 13 on the other right there. That way we could pivot the link out of the way and we can reach this side of the the tow bolt. Pull that out, pivot it down. Now I can reach this. So we have an 18 on that side, but what we want to do essentially is we want this to stay still and we want to tighten the nut. So I made marks on that side and that's what I'm going to use as a reference. So if it moves, I can try to put it back in place. So. We are putting this on here. I'm gonna hold that, get the 21 in here, and that is gonna be, tightening is gonna be downwards. Now, I actually just bought this, which essentially will grab the wrench, maybe more leverage. So you have ways to go for torquing it. Wrench is only the only thing that fits in there, so. Okay. Now I also got this here, which has a socket. So maybe I'll put my torque wrench on it, but I have to calculate if I, I'm gonna tape this in place so it doesn't move. And I'm gonna calculate the offset here so I can calculate the right torque to put on the torque wrench so they don't over torque that. So with this offset of six inches, the 165 newton meter torque has to be brought down on the wrench to 129. It'll depend on the torque wrench you have and how far out you are here. Okay, I mean, there's some flex in the wrench, but yeah, that feels good. Now we do the same thing on the other side. Oh, right, before we do that, I gotta put this back in. Just pop this back up, put that through here, there we go. Now the uh, other side on the link here will spin freely. So you need the 10 mil on the, right now, like that. Nice and snug, okay. Don't want to overdo it either. And that's this side done. Excellent. Let's take it to the other. The uh, link here again. Pivot it down. And this is going to be tightening, it's going to be up. I think we can 
get our torque wrench in there. This side took me a little more time for some reason, but I got there eventually. All right, our torque to spec. It shifted a tiny bit, but it should still be good. A little hard to hold in place. Now let's put this link back in. There we go. And that is it. Yay! 140 newton meters. So I'll do that when it's on the ground. But that is good progress. Very good. Just a little reminder that we gotta put that on. All right. going to 140 newton meters for the lug nuts. I like to use the chalk to prevent the wheel from turning, which makes it easier to torque the wheel to spec. Then we do the same thing on the other side and we're good to get back on the road. So the truck's aligned. I've driven it and it feels way better than it did before. Now rolling around on the floor to make the adjustments work for this truck because it's pretty high off the ground, but some cars might be too low for that. So we'll have to see if we need some alignment stands for other cars in the future. I gotta say though, using the Quick Trick Kit was pretty straightforward, even for my first time. I'm not sponsored by them, but they're worth checking out if you're looking for an alignment system. Now this truck could also use some new tie rods since they have some damage from previous alignments. So subscribe if you wanna see me replace those. If this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.